Hi, welcome to the first episode of String Manipulation. Uh, this episode is about an Oxford comma. So uh, essentially what we're doing is we're taking a string of uh, names separated by semicolons and then converting to them to a Oxford comma appropriate string. So here we have a list of names, um, each of them separated by a colon and our formula solution takes those names and puts a comma in between them and puts an and for the last one. So in this uh, episode, I'm going to be using two different functions, the substitute function and the len function. And this will be the first of many different string manipulation videos. So I hope you enjoy and uh, let me know what you think. And also, if you have any questions on these videos or if you want to propose uh, some sort of solution, uh, feel free to. My ultimate goal with this is to sort of start like an open Excel dialogue about best methods of doing formula tricks and, and that sort of thing. So, okay, so let's, if I go ahead and type John, James, and Matt, and if you look over here in our B5 cell, I hit enter, you'll see John, James, and Matt pop up. So um, I'm going to go ahead and delete this and walk you through how I did it. The first thing we need to do is find this last semicolon. This last semicolon is the point at which we go comma, space, and. So how do we do that? Well, how do you count a certain type of character within a string? There is no formula, at least that I know of, that can do this. But there is a cool method. There's a formula called len. And what len does is, len actually means length. So if I len and accepts a text as my reference, so if I put len around my A3 cell, it's going to say 26. But what I really like to know is how many semicolons I have because I want to find out at which semicolon to put my comma, space, and. So I have len A3 equals 26, but how do I get 4, right? Because we have 4 semicolons here. So what I need to do is find out the difference between this string with semicolons and this string without semicolons. So with, we have 26 characters. However, without, so if I, I'm just going to do it here, use my substitute function. Substitute takes uh, three to four arguments. So it's going to take a text. Um, it's going to take an old text, which is a semicolon, a new text, which is a blank and an instance number, which in this case we're not going to use. So what that did is it just got rid of all of the semicolons. So what we can do from here is actually use our len and just wrap that around there. Oh, 22. So if you look at this, 26 minus 22, that shows us that we have four semicolons. And what are we going to do with that? Well, we're going to use that as one of our instant numbers to say, hey, on our last semicolon we want comma space and so I'm actually gonna go ahead and copy this oops left the equal sign okay so that's what we want okay what's next okay so what we can do now is we need to use another substitute function I'm gonna go substitute I'm gonna take that text we're going to substitute our semicolon with a comma and an and. And then we're going to, our instance number is going to be this len function. So if you highlight that and press F9, if you highlight that and press F9, or if I go to uh, calculate now, going to get 4, which is exactly what I want. So this substitute A3, return that, and then uh, do it on the fourth instance number. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter, and you'll notice that it replaced Jake, this last semicolon with comma and Nick. Oh, looks like I made a mistake. So I'm going to go ahead and put a, let's see, a space after and. Okay, perfect. All right, so now that that's done, we still have to go in and replace all of these semicolons. So how are we going to do that? Well, 
what we can do is wrap this around with another substitute, take this text. Our old text is going to be comma semicolon, and our new text is going to be comma space close, uh, close quote. And we don't need an instance number because we want it on all of the rest. And there you go, that's how you do it. You copy this down, and it should work for all cases. But I think, um, as I'm looking at this, I think there's actually another issue. So if I type Jake semicolon colon, look what happens, Jake comma and colon. So we need to write in a stipulation that says, if there's only two names, don't include the comma, just include an and. So how we can do that is we can go, if two names would be separated by one semicolon, so I can go if, we can just take this, Oops, I think I accidentally grabbed too much. Okay, so if I take, okay, so you'll see that that brought us four. Okay, so I'm going to try to find out if that equals one, then I want it to just be uh, replace that one semicolon with and. So if that equals one, my value of true is going to be, I'm just going to copy this, paste it over here, substitute a3 with and, take out the comma, and my value if false is going to be this right here. And close it off. Let's see what happened. Okay, there you go. Um, now you see that it says Jake and Colin, no comma. All right, well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or email me at xlsxgeek at gmail.com.